welcome to BSSB, where tonight we got a uh, little something different. We got a video interview with Justin Montavo. Uh, he's fighting this Saturday, August 16th, in Cage Fury 134 against Angel Alvarez. So we just sit down with him for a couple minutes here to shoot the shit, ask him a couple questions, and uh, yeah, and we go from there. So sit back, roll one up, and enjoy it. All right, my man, welcome uh, Justin Montalvo to the BSSB podcast here. We're going to sit down with a little uh, pre-fight interview. He fights this Saturday, uh, the 16th, against Angel Alvarez and uh, Cage Fury 134. So how uh, how you doing, man? We appreciate you stopping by. I'm feeling good. I'm waiting on my pop. I'm having a good time. Nice. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, so you're coming into this. I uh, seen online you're coming into this six and two, coming off a couple tough fights off of this. Uh, what do you think you've gained from those last couple fights going into this one? That's going to help you improve. Um, I'm just uh, learning more about myself. I felt felt some good speed in there. Uh, just like good adjustments I'm going to make. But it's something I haven't felt before. I, I know what kind of fighters give me a hard time, but. I'll just keep fighting them until I can beat them. So yeah, definitely. I, knew that I won in Bellator. It was a tough one, but um, I feel like I've felt that kind of speed before. You know, it's just the quick sport, man. One little mistake could be over. So for sure, I'm just gonna keep going and keep learning and getting better. So get get a maybe one. <laughs> oh, there they oh, are. Nice. Yeah, love it. Love it. Those are looking good. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> It's nice. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, talking about definitely seeing that before. I mean, you got a, you're got you in a pretty good camp up there with uh, Ray Longo and stuff. There's some dogs in that camp. Um, yeah. What's the biggest thing you uh, – uh, what do you – what did you do prior to uh, getting into MMA in, like, high school and things like that? Were you a wrestler? What was, like, your foundation in getting into MMA? Yeah, my school, West Hempstead, they, they didn't have wrestling when I went. But it's funny, I actually was interested in doing jiu-jitsu first in uh, middle school. I was like, my last year in middle school. I was like, oh, I want to try jiu-jitsu. And then uh, I had a cousin that showed me it stuff, and then I was like, I got to gotta learn this. So I went to Salongos, and then I went for jiu-jitsu, but then I saw a striking, kickboxing, and I was like, I like that better. I just liked it all together. So then I started doing everything. I had a lot of amateur fights. Yeah, but my school never had wrestling, so I kind of had to learn from Aljo. I learned from, from Longos a little bit, from Wideman a little bit. But, yeah. Nice. Now, was there yeah. uh Boxing, kickboxing, too. Yeah, boxing, like, high school, kickboxing, high school. And then I went to on there. Nice. Now, was there a, a certain MMA fight or a fighter that really drawed you into the sport when you were like eighth grade, ninth grade that got you? Was it like a Gracie or something like that? Where you're like, oh shit, you seen this dude come in here and just take people to the ground and submit them? And was like, dude, that's what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I think it was around a time where like that MMA movie came out, like that back down. <laughs> And I was watching that. Okay. And I was like, oh, and then um, I've seen like Tracy, and I, I watched like I saw like the Gi. It's funny because I don't like Gi at all anymore. But just for some reason, the Gi and like just do itself kind of like caught an eye. And I was I was like interested in it. And I was like, oh, I want to learn jujitsu. And then I realized I always kind of like boxing too growing up. I like Mike Tyson and Ali and stuff. I used to watch boxing growing up. Now going into this fight, are you looking more? Uh, looking to do a stand up, or you you think you're gonna focus on this, or you're gonna let the fight just come to you here? What have you been working on mostly in this camp? Yeah, I'm always an entertaining fighter. I'm I'm, just, I'm here to to bang, bro. That's the, I like to fight. I'll yeah, be I right in front of him just for sure. I noticed that with your record, or you uh, got some of them quick knockouts and shit like that, which is always exciting to watch. Fan favorite. So, but sure. uh, we're gonna get off of fighting here and. Uh, 
talk about some other shit. So like tonight you're relaxing, chilling. What do you do? What do you like in your spare time? Are you a movie guy, TV, video games? Like what, what are you into? Yeah, I mean, I love I love movies. Like I'm an AMC member, <laughs> so okay. I see movies all the time. Just saw a movie Cuckoo. I saw Deadpool. I saw uh, what's that other one? Long Legs or some scary movie? Oh shit! Saw okay. that. Yeah, I love movies. I love video games. I play the UFC games, UFC Five. I play online. Nice. I'm like ranked online. Being dudes up virtual world and real world. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, go get him on uh, UFC, dude. Fuck yeah. I thought you're, who, you're and take... I love fu- Oh, go ahead. Fu- My bad. Yeah, I love food. I love fast food. I love everything. I love eating like shit. I know I got to eat healthy to make weight, but after my fights, I'll take maybe like a week of just eating whatever the hell I want. I want to go to Jollibee. I want to go to everywhere. <laughs> so you're like, uh, are you like. Wait, pe- you're like Patty Pimblet, man. What? You gain like sixty pounds. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got the one ninety seven once on my eye. I gotta stop. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're an East Coast guy out of New York. I'm sure you've been all around. What's your burger? In and out, water burger. Like, what's your what's your top three like burger joints that you would pick? Because you've been all around. Yeah, I don't know. This is. Something about In and Out. I don't know what it is. Hell yeah, it's just like a, whenever I go to Cali. Yeah, whenever I go to Cali, I gotta get it. I love In and Out. But um, I said my I said In and Out, Shake Shack, uh, Five Guys. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't like Burger King. I love Burger King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, the Whopper is pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Now, do you have any free uh, pre-fight superstitions when it comes to a meal, uh, like uh, anything like 36, 48 hours prior, like you, you, you always eat a certain thing or you're always doing this or a time where it's like eight o'clock, I do this, noon, I do this. Is it? Do you have any of those type of routine or superstitions? That's actually mad funny. My dad's like that. Have you ever seen Silver Linings Playbook? Yeah. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. You know the, you know the dad? That's like mad superstition. Like, no, sit next to me. You gotta, you gotta wear this shirt. All this. Yeah, he's got like OCD yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's how my dad is. He's like, no, you have to do an interview. You've won all your fights and you've done an interview. I'm like, fuck. Oh, yeah, I gotta I do gotcha. fucking. Hell yeah. Okay. So because of him, I'm a bunch of interviews. But like, yeah. You know, okay. Cool. It's just fighting. Fighting takes up your focus. Yeah. You know? I, I just kind of told myself I just wanted to focus, but you know, it ain't bad doing interviews. So I like it. No, for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah. No, so this is uh this is your first time in Cage Fury. So uh what do you what are you coming to bring to show these fans? Quick knockout, explosiveness, do you plan on did you sign a multi fight contract with Cage Fury or is it kinda like a fight by fight deal with them? Yeah, that's my first time fighting for them. I just took, took this fight and then signed a contract with them yet. But uh Yeah, I'm just gonna uh I promise an exciting fight. Fireworks. Now, do you have a oh, yeah. do you have a good walkout song pick for this that you can let us know? Like, what's your walkout song for this fight? That's a good question. Many Men by Fifty Cent. Nice. Oh hell yeah, that's oh, what's yeah. up. That's a good pick. That's classic. A, yeah, that's going kind of trending right now with some certain certain themes in the world. Hey, so yeah, for sure. There you go. Oh, man, that's my theme beginning, and I, I'm starting to see it trending everywhere. Donald Trump and everything. I'm like, oh man, kind of crazy. I, I feel like I was I hopped on it first, but. Yeah, it's crazy because I remember just running to that song one day, like everything just hit me. Like I was picturing everything and kind of just, it helped with the manifestation. Like I was going for runs hearing that song and like picturing me like hurting people and I was like getting chills while I was running. I was running longer, faster. And I was like, oh yeah, this guy, walk out song. (laughs) Cool. feel magical. So is uh, rap music, like that type of music, like what you listen to majority? Or are you into like rock, rap, or are you kind of really into anything? Yeah, I listen to everything, bro. I listen to Under Oak. Nice. I listen to rap. I listen to everything, yeah. Old school rap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you, had, if you were on a long road trip from New York to Cali and you had one album to listen to the entire road trip, what are you listening to on repeat the whole time? Yeah. Um, I like Juice World. <laughs> Juice, Juice World, World, there you go. Okay. Oh yeah, I respect that. 
Nice. Love it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Well, hell yeah, dude. Well, I appreciate this. Like I said, we're not going to keep you long. I know you got some some shit to take care of. You got a fight to focus on. So, but uh, hopefully we can meet up here in the future after your fight here, after you get this victory and, you know, talk again and talk about the fight and shit like that. For so, sure. um, like I said, check out the fight August 16th. We got some sponsored them. We got them on the shorts. This dude's going to fuck some shit up. Angel <laughs> yeah. better watch out. <laughs> Because the shit's yeah. going down. Bada boom, there it is. Is that dad or is that coach? That's Pop. What's up, Pops? Much love, <laughs> What's my man. Going on? Hell yeah. Good to see you. Love it, dude. Yep. Love it. Get them sponsors out there. BSSB <laughs> Kosh, guys, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, do you got any, uh, you want to shout out YouTube, Instagram, wherever these, uh, anybody can find you at? Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, I said Justin Montalvo, Kid Marvelous on Instagram. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Fuck yeah, we'll put your links and shit below for the Instagram and everything like that. For sure. Like I said, I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to sit down with us for this short time. Um, look forward to talking to you again in the future, man. Good luck with the fight, and uh, we'll be fucking watching and cheering on, my dude. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yo, yeah, take you it too. Easy. Have a good night, man. Later, bro. Peace. Oh, balloons. Oh, balloons. What's up? <laughs>